We're ready to start the uh, controversial Pwn for Fun contest. I'm Jaisal Spellman of Hewlett Packard's Zero Day Initiative, where I'm a security researcher. Hi, my name is Matt Molinyawi. I'm a security researcher for HP Zero Day Initiative. Today at Pwn for Fun, my team and I exploited Microsoft Internet Explorer 11 on Windows 8.1. We were able to run uh, a benign program, a uh, calculator, and it was used to demonstrate that we can run what we want, not want to on the computer. To create the exploit, we had an initial use after free vulnerability that was exploited just for fun and for educational purposes. From there, we were able to perform our sandbox bypass and were able to do more privileged things. And we tested that using some custom code. And once we had that tested, we then chained it all together so that we had a full exploit that would go from uh, low integrity to medium integrity as a malicious person might do. The sandbox bypass um, can be fairly difficult, but bypassing ASLR, DEP, a lot of the uh, memory protections that Microsoft puts, they, it makes it very, very difficult for a lot of people. Pwn for Fun is something that we introduced this year, and it's fantastic because as sponsors, ZDI and Google are excluded from actually participating in Pwn to Own, but this way we get to demonstrate our own exploits. We've already notified the vendors of the afflicted products, and they have the information they're able to patch starting now, and everyone wins. Today we'll be able to donate money to the Canadian Red Cross, and uh, there's going to be a lot of positive impact from our security research, and I'm pretty happy about that. When you're able to do this and have it very public and have it actually help a charity such as the Canadian Red Cross, it, it's just very, very rewarding and fulfilling.